Honorable Raksha Mantri, the President of Federation of Indian Chambers uh, of Commerce and Industry, Director of Center for Joint Warfare Studies, colleagues, colleagues, and friends. Firstly, I wish to thank Fiki and Sanjos for inviting me for this conference of AMO India, the very first that is happening, and giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with all of you on a subject which is very close to my heart, as I've done my specialization in ammunition management. Army Ordnance Corps is responsible for the ammunition management in the Indian Army from the womb to the tomb. The ammunition reserves of the nation and the capability for indigenous manufacture dictate the staying power in any military conflict. And therefore, its importance in military planning and strategy cannot be overemphasized. The manufacture of ammunition is a complex and expensive process and requires constant infusion of new technology and R&D efforts to continue to enhance the precision and the destructive power. Any new development in new weapon systems or platforms require the simultaneous development of matching ammunition either to fire or to counter and destroy. Complete self-reliance in defense manufacturing has been the vision of the government for many decades. But the recent initiative of Make in India by our Honorable Prime Minister has made this possible for this dream to become a reality. Incorporation or the policy of strategic partnership is intended to institutionalize a transparent, objective, and functional mechanism to encourage broader participation of the private sector in the manufacture of ammunition. Several policy initiatives have been taken by the government to provide a level playing field between the public sector and the industry. This has provided the necessary impetus, and today the Indian industry is keen to invest in this vital field. And therefore, I'm glad that this seminar has been organized to clear the perceptions and, the, and sincerely hope it will achieve its aim to enable industry comprehend the policies and the opportunities. Though the Ammo India covers the complete range of ammunition from small arms to missiles, but as of now, as was mentioned by the uh, President Fiki, the project of manufacturing eight different types of ammunition with a total of 21 variants is underway. This entails an order of approximately 17,000 crores in 10 years. The model for development under this project has been so formulated so as to focus more on the indigenization of critical technology and process that go into ammunition manufacture. It entails a long-term contract with provisions for permission to export after meeting the requirements of the Army. This will not only ensure commercial viability, but also provide longevity to the project. We are really glad that the Indian industry has evinced keen interest in, and there have been numerous interactions which have enabled the project to progress at a fast pace from the conceptual stage to the building process in little over a year. The last such interaction was held in February this year and where all the concerns of the industry were addressed and the final corridor to the RFP is expected to be uploaded uh, in the next one month or so. The present initiative for indigenous production of ammunition 
coupled with the volume volumes provided is a unique opportunity and i am confident that this project will be the front runner for opening up of other critical sectors to the industry i wish you all the very best for your deliberations thank you jai hind